At first, I couldn't get this right, but once I understood the method, it turned out to be much simpler than I thought. Let's make a honeycomb coaster set, complete with a custom holder that prints cleanly and fits every time. Start by creating a new component and name it Honeycomb Coaster. Using a new component keeps the design organized and makes future edits much easier. I'll reorient the view cube so we're looking straight down, then create a 10 mm circumscribed polygon at the origin. Add a 30 degree construction line. We'll use this later to align our honeycomb pattern perfectly. Now extrude our polygon 4 mm. Apply a shell with a 1 mm wall, then extrude the base upward 1.5 mm to make the coaster thicker since the shell command thinned out the bottom. Next, let's define the area for our pattern. This helps guide us when building the coaster because the honeycomb pattern gives us an irregular outer edge. Sketch a construction circle 100 mm in diameter centered at the origin. Now for the time saving part the rectangular pattern. When setting up the rectangular pattern, start by picking the 30 degree construction line as the direction axis. That's what keeps the honeycomb pattern perfectly aligned. Set the distance to 19 millimeters. Since our polygon radius is 10 millimeters, the diameter becomes 20 and subtracting one millimeter gives a clean overlap between cells. Make both directions symmetric so the pattern expands evenly on both sides. Use eight instances. The exact number doesn't matter as long as you have more polygons than you need. These settings keep the pattern centered and flexible if you make future changes. And a quick tip, use the view cube to check your pattern from different angles before moving on. Once the pattern looks good, hide the bodies that touch the 100 mm guide circle. You can do that quickly with the V key. Then combine everything left into one clean body to keep the number of bodies down. If you've made it this far, you're definitely buzzing. Must be all those sweet honeycomb designs. Now it's time for the holder. Create a new component and name it Honeycomb Coaster Holder. We'll build it directly from the top component so it doesn't become a subcomponent of the coasters. Start a new sketch and draw a center diameter circle 105 millimeters. That's the outer dimension of the holder. While you're at it, check the video description below. You'll find the STL files, affiliate deals on the tools I use, and a few extra project resources that can make your own build easier. Then extrude two sides, 16 mm up, 4 mm down. Since each coaster is 4 mm thick, this holder will fit four coasters perfectly. It gives us a sturdy platform and walls tall enough for the stack.
save your project, I like to name this version before projection. That way, it's easy to know exactly where we were if we ever need to roll back. Next, create a new sketch and project the honeycomb coaster geometry. This links the holder to the coaster. Any changes in the underlying geometry will automatically update the sketch. Add two sketch lines to define the cutout on one side and trim away the excess. This will become the opening for easier access later. Now extrude cut the projected pattern up to the top of the holder component. That way the cut remains fully parametric if we ever decide to change the holder's height to fit more coasters. Add a 1mm fillet along the top edges for a smoother user experience and a 1mm chamfer at the bottom to soften the print and make the design feel intentional. For appearances, duplicate the steel satin material, set the coaster color to number FFC30B, a clean honey yellow and the holder to number 4B2E05, a dark honey brown. I picked these because they match the theme and give the project a warm, organic look. To make sure everything fits smoothly, select the inside faces of the holder and offset face by minus 0.25 mm. That's your clearance. It compensates for 3D printing tolerances and ensures the coaster slides in easily without being too tight. Finally, use a rectangular pattern to create your stack with 4 mm spacing between each coaster for a clean printable layout. And that's it. A fully parametric honeycomb coaster set that's sharp, functional and print ready. If your prints come out this clean, just remember, it wasn't luck, it was parametric design. Drop a comment below if you've got feedback or questions and check out the two recommended honeycomb videos. 
they show different techniques that might suit your next design even better.